Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. My name is still Alexander and I make free software to help Notion Anki users all around the world be more successful in their learning journey. I know most people who watch the videos are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed, please just make that red button gray, please support the channel. It's very much appreciated. And if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe. We have a simple page here, phonetic alphabet. I'm gonna export it there and then head on here over to, uh, to Anki.net, get into the create page. And uh, this is the card options that's available. So for now, if you watch this maximum one toggle per card, then uh, you probably are gonna recognize some of the options. If you haven't, make sure to check that one out because the it's nice with the background music and stuff. And uh, I think the editing turned out nice, so let me like this video. So make sure to like the video if you haven't already done that. Thank you. You want to enable use all toggle list because this is gonna detect all the toggles um, regardless of where they are. And that other video explains it, uh, why it's needed and um, that one I would combine with this maximum one toggle ca per card. So you only get uh, the, the actual cards themselves, not the whole structures, because you can group nested toggles within each other, right? And uh, I would also recommend adding preserve new lines in the toggle header and body. And there's another video on that. I'll also add that in the description, but basically uh, you can have lines like this they will be remembered or preserved in this case. So that's uh, the card options I'm currently recommending. So if you experience any issues, just make sure you have the use all toggle lists enabled and um, the maximum one toggle and also the preserve new lines. I like those. And these have evolved over time based on feedback from people. So if you have an idea, if you think something really sucks or you have an idea on how we can improve it, make sure to let us know in the comment, guys. Just write it there and I'll see it and I'll like it and reply to you. Just to wrap up, um, when you're exporting this time, make sure you um, actually have the content, everything. And if an image is missing during the export, just make sure to export again um, from Notion and then upload it because it's possible that there is a bug when uh, you export in Notion. So I hope these card options that I mentioned um, uh, will help you. Uh, and uh, until next time, happy learning.